always enjoy her company. Now, time for um, today's pause for thought. And uh, this morning, it's Nancy Hunt, who's director of the uh, Oxfordshire charity, the uh, Nasio Trust, working to empower communities in Western Kenya to break the cycle of poverty. This crisis has impacted on all our lives across the globe. Sadly, so many people have lost loved ones, and my thoughts and prayers are with them every day. In Kenya, I'm witnessing firsthand the impact on communities who live in poverty. Most families live from hand to mouth, earning around two pounds for a day's work. They cannot work from home, they cannot stockpile, they cannot even self-isolate when the entire family lives in one room in a small grass-thatched hut. Social distancing is not even an option. They risk starving if they don't go to work. They don't even have money for soap and water to frequently wash their hands. Should the virus really take hold in these poor communities, the results would be catastrophic. I even had a child say to me, why are we washing our hands? We only wash our hands when we're about to eat. Water is so precious because sometimes people have to walk miles to collect it. Soap is a luxury. There's no social security or NHS. If you can't work, you don't have money, you sleep hungry. If you get sick without money, you cannot get treatment and will probably die. That's the reality of life here. In the West, we are fighting one battle, that of the virus. But for most of the people here, the immediate worry is how to just survive. Also, unlike the UK police enforcement here, it is brutal, really, really sad stories. So we thank God that in the UK we have a caring and responsible police service, encouraging compliance with rules and consent. And we also have amazing people in the NHS and also working tirelessly to look after the sick despite their personal risk. So if you're frustrated and the supermarket shelves are bare and you can't see your family members or celebrate family occasion, spare thought for those in Africa who live in poverty with no access to running water, no electricity, no toilet, no food and uncertain future. The virus is shaping our world, forcing us to open our minds and hearts, reminding us of how interdependent we are of each other. I believe something new will happen. Our lives will never be the same for the better. Therefore, we have to live in hope. We cannot live in fear. That's what the Bible promises. That's uh, Nancy Hunt in Kenya with a, a pause for thought this morning.